of my colleagues on Grand Illusion said to me uh, well, two or three weeks ago, had I heard a musical comb? Musical comb? Musical hair comb? That's a hair comb, which I don't need to use very much. Oh, there's another comb I have come across, which you probably know, which is a comb in a musical box. That's called a comb there. The only thing I could do with this as a child, incidentally, is put paper in it and make the sound of a gazoo, which I'll try later on. But he said, no, no, it's neither of those, it's something else different. So I went on the website, found my drawing an extraordinary thing, which looked like this as a picture, invented by an American, Dean, and uh, it's been sold by a company called Mythical. My goodness me. It was about $16, but the trouble is there was a minimum price of $39 carried. So I was thinking of buying a comb that looks like broken ones with broken teeth for about 40 quid, that's going to cost me. <laughs> Madness, isn't it? I bought three. I bought three. You know what they meant? It, it reduces the cost pro rata to, to 24 quid each, which wasn't so bad. And I received them the other day, and here is the first of the three. And it's got those, you now look at it more carefully, realise those teeth haven't been broken off, they were never there in the first place. So it actually breaks in the music, you know, at the end of a, of a bar line, the end of a musical phrase. And the idea is, it makes music because the top's all exactly on the same level, but the bottom is a profile, so you have short and medium and long lengths, each of which vibrates at a different frequency and makes a musical note. There's actually, I counted six different tones there going from, well, in the key of C, from C up to A, da 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 up there. And the idea is to hold it up again, so I'll see. It's probably to see, it's one little disappointment which I was prepared for was, it was a tune I was unfamiliar with, Good good Mythical Morning, Good Mythical Morning. It's very popular in America, so we'll see if you recognise it. Trouble is, not knowing the tune, I don't know whether I'm playing this way or whether you're going to hear it backwards. So perhaps I'd better play it both ways. Here we go. More slowly. <sighs> Doesn't do much for me, I'm afraid. Let's try the other way. faster. Still doesn't do much for me. So what I thought is, having bought them, I wanted to use the extravagance to perhaps be an investment, because if I could possibly get a friend to make me <coughs> something with a better known tune, like <coughs> my favourite one would be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It worked out when I looked carefully at the tune. It's got the same musical range of six tones, the same roughly number of um, notes in it, and all it needs is different places for the bar lines, for the for the holes to be in. Twinkle, twinkle, little start, pause, you have a break, and so on. So he's going to have a go. He does say he's tone deaf, this friend of mine, incidentally. <laughs> Never mind. He says you've got plenty of friends who are very good, good uh, got good musical ears, one of them is actually a musician. So when he's made the first rough prototype, they'll say, oh, no, no, that's a bit flat. Oh, no, that's a bit sharp. That's, and so on. They'll criticise it and get him into tune. So that's going to come. So I'm looking forward to that very much. Meantime, it did spark me the idea of going back to what I did as a child, which I thought was just comb and paper. You put it on and it blow it like a kazoo, it makes a sound. One of my colleagues said, actually, you need toilet paper for it. You need a stiff paper. This is flimsy. This is just a bit of tissue paper. If I pull it hard, I can just about get a sound out of it. I won't try. So I went through my stuff in the bathroom and came across a toilet roll, which I've had for about um, 50 years or 45. I just never use it, frankly. Um, so let's have a go. I'll open this roll for the first time in all those years. And it's a sheet of this, which is a stiff paper. It used to be the standard toilet paper for bathrooms in, throughout the British hours. And to see if it works with a bit of this paper. Goodness me, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is ages old. Oh, there's a marking line. Yes, I see. Oh, oh. See if that works. Just that little bit of that on a comb. I think you're supposed to just push through like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, something is coming. <laughs> the sound I'm trying to get is what I call a gazoo, which you're probably very familiar with. <laughs> That's what you should get. I must try other bits of toilet paper and start practicing, I think. Take myself back to my six-year-old childhood, but it'll be fun to do. I think also I might try doing it on this one to make this a doubly musical too, so I can play it with a, with a, bit, of, a bit of paper and, of course, plug the pieces as well. So I'm looking forward very much to getting this, the first sample of this play, something like 
twinkle twinkle little star and i'll play it to you when it's done it's going to be a great thing for my collection we could take it any further than that we'll wait and see see how you react what a lovely idea a musical comb and all the time that's what they're talking about one of these too oh well exciting life we lead 